Hi, welcome to my channel. Thank you for joining me. This is Elizabeth with Wondering Soul Enterprises. To my subscribers, welcome back. Thank you. And to anyone who's new, if you would um, be sure to subscribe to this channel if you want to see more videos like this and give it a thumbs up if you do like it. Um, I'd really appreciate that. Uh, I'm here today to bring you a Christmas Eve sound bath and meditation, and I'm going to finish with a prayer. Um, so this is in honor of Christmas Eve, the winter solstice, and also the Grand Conjunction, which just happened on the 21st of December 2020. And um, I, I wanted to kind of talk about that a little bit before we get started. I'm not an astrologer, but I know that this Grand Conjunction is very significant. Jupiter and Saturn met in the sky, and this only happens every 20 years or so. Um, so they met in the sign of Aquarius, and so this is thought to be the dawning of the age of Aquarius, where we're moving from an epic of hierarchies into uh, an epic of more individualized thought and, and um, free thinking. So uh, as you're doing your meditation this year, you know, usually I like to meditate on what I want to leave in the year that just passed and what I want to take with me into the new year or manifest in the new year. Um, so you might want to keep that in mind, especially the 2020 being the year that it has been. I'm sure we're all hoping for a better year next year. But beyond that, you might want to think about the last 10 to 20 years of your life and um, what you want to keep, what, which lessons you want to keep from that and what you want to leave behind, what, what's been holding you back. And then think 10 to 20 years in the future where you'd like to be, what you want to see in your life at that time. Okay, so you can practice this meditation um, seated. I'm sitting on a bolster. You could just sit on the floor or a folded blanket or on a chair or comfortable uh, couch or whatever makes you feel comfortable. If you are sitting in a chair, please make sure that your feet are both in contact with the ground. That'll help you feel a little bit more even and grounded in the meditation. You can also practice this lying down if you feel more relaxed that way. And in any case, you just wanna make sure you have a nice long spine, creating plenty of space in the spine from the tip of the tailbone to the crown of the head. Start to um, bring the awareness to the breath. Sort of scan the body, notice any areas where you're feeling any tightness. Let's take three deep breaths, inhaling through the nose and exhaling through the mouth. Let's just return to normal breathing, allowing the chest to rise and fall naturally. And just noticing the breath as it makes its pathway through the body, entering through the nose, coming up behind the eyes, into the chest, feeling the diaphragm expand, kind of visualizing that breath going all the way down to the tip of your spine, although that's not physiologically what's happening, that energy of the oxygen reaching into all the blood cells is doing this on every inhale. So inhaling, breathing in all that fresh energy to every cell of the body and exhaling, releasing toxins. And 
noticing the temperature of the breath, how it might be cooler on the inhale and warmer on the exhale. You might start to form an intention. Maybe you want to focus on the inhale, what you want to bring into your life, and the exhale, focus on what you're letting go of. Just relax. I'm going to start playing the Tibetan singing bells. I have one bell for each of the chakras in the body. Um, if you're familiar with the chakras, you might kind of bring your awareness to each of those energy wheels in the body and just notice any tightness. Um, breathe into that tightness, sort of surround it with a glowing light and um, Hopefully the energy will start to um, to break up a little bit. The, the energy blocks will start to break up a little bit. But if that doesn't happen, don't worry. Um, I'm just hoping that this will sort of get all of your energy flowing throughout the whole body. So just continue to focus on the breath. allow the sound vibrations to do their work.
begin to bring your awareness back into the body. We wiggle the fingers and toes. We roll the shoulders or inhale, bring the arms up overhead. If you're laying down, you might point the toes. Take a nice long body stretch. Thank you for joining me in what turned out to be a sound bath of the Tibetan singing bells and cat sounds starring Nikita the cat. I'd like to go ahead and end with a, a prayer. And I'm not going to uh, do my own prayer. I'm going to be reciting the prayer of St. Francis. Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. Where there is hatred, let me sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. Where there is sadness, joy. O Divine Master, grant that I may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive, it is in pardoning that we are pardoned, and it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Three.